Sinestrunk. The Mario Kart series is one of those franchises that's predicated on people wanting more, bigger, and faster with each new edition, so because of that, earlier games in the series tend to get left behind to collect dust. Mario Kart Super Circuit came out after Mario Kart 64 and before Mario Kart Double Dash, but despite the series moving ahead to bigger and better things, Super Circuit is still a fantastic title that serves as a natural sequel to the original Super Mario Kart for SNES. The feel of driving here is very similar to the original Mario Kart, and it's got the same aesthetic vibe to it as well just obviously with a huge leap in graphics, but it does feel like a natural evolution overall. For game modes, there's Mario GP, where you race against the computer in a series of four tracks that are three laps each. There's Time Trial, which records a ghost image of your best time so you can race against yourself. There's Quick Run, which is just a one-time race on any track you've unlocked, also known as the mode you pick when you're just sitting down to take a shit. And of course, there's the Versus and Battle modes, and that leads me to the multiplayer capabilities here. Mario GP allows a maximum of two players to race against the computer, but versus mode and battle mode allow up to four players using the Game Boy Advance game link, so that's pretty cool. However, I'm not sure if the four player capability would work with something like the Retron 5, sorry. Still, it's nice to know that that option is out there, and you only need one cartridge to make the versus mode work. Battle mode, each player needs a cartridge. Anyway, there's a total of 40 courses in Super Circuit. You start with 20 and can unlock the 20 courses from the original Super Mario Kart. That's definitely what makes this game hold up so well, the sheer variety of courses is fantastic. All the traditional stuff like Bowser's Castle and the Ghost House is here, but there's also Luigi's Circuit, which has the track really slippery from rain, Ribbon Road, which has a series of speed boosts, Sunset Wilds, where you get attacked by Shy Guys, Sky Garden, Broken Pier, Lakeside Park, there's a ton of diversity in the tracks, it's fantastic. Super Circuit shares another similarity with the original Mario Kart, and that the coins you pick up are very important. The more you collect, the more you increase your top speed, and if you collect over 100 on a Mario GP run, you unlock new tracks. In addition, you lose coins if you take hits or fall off the track, and if you don't have any coins, every shot you take from another cart sends you spitting out. In other words, it's like Sonic. You gotta make sure you gotta have at least one ring. Same kind of deal. The eight characters here are all familiar, nobody additional to unlock or anything, and all the typical items are here, along with Lightning Bolt, Boo, and the dreaded Blue Shell. Thankfully though, that makes an appearance very, very rarely. So yeah, Mario Kart Super Circuit may not have all the whiz-bang bells and whistles of Mario Kart 7 or 8, but it functions as a sequel, more or less, to the original Super Mario Kart. What's really nice is this is one of those first-party Nintendo titles from that era that doesn't go for an arm and a leg. It's usually around $10 on eBay, so if you missed out on this one, you can find it for somewhat cheap. And yeah, this is definitely one you want to go check out.